in this example I'm going to show you if statements we know those in Excel it works the same pretty much in access uh, what we're going to do we're going to do it to two if statements we did the mortgage pay with the payment function what we're going to do we're going to do two of them one is if the person's earning fifty one thousand dollars or, or more they are approved it will be a text answer the second one will be the amount of down payment if they're making more than a certain amount they only have to put down 10 percent otherwise they have to put down 25 percent let's get started and please note when you're doing the if statement it's not if it's i i f i always say uh, if so we're going to go to the builder first step was to click into this blank box over here now well, what we're going to do we're going to click on functions built-in functions and you could always go to all or you could go to program flow if we double click now I have stuff highlighted up here by accident if you have that look before you click I uh, delete it I double click on this and we have the three parts the expression the true and the false part the first one is that what we want to do we're going to click on the expression here and I want to say if the annual income is greater than or equal to 50,000 so I'm literally going to type in annual income spell it correctly it's showing it there and I'm going to say greater than equal 50,000 you don't put any commas or dollar signs go into the true part we're going to say approved it's a text string type in the quotes for false not approved we want to name the field go to the beginning before the if and we're gonna say approval hit the colon say okay run it it says approved dot approved let's do our second if statement again you could type it straight in I like the builder on this case here and it's showing it I'm gonna go into functions built-in functions as I said before program flow double click on this and I want to go into the same if I want to say annual income greater than equal and then what I want to do for the true part I'm going to work with the field for the sale price sale price times I want to, they only had to put down 10 percent if it's false they're making less than 50,000 sale price times let's say 25 percent and I want to name this down payment again put the colon otherwise you're going to have a problem say okay let's run this it scroll over here to see it shows the down payment 10 percent of that okay and it's just saying for this person making less they have to put down a quarter 81,000 etc now let's say I want to format as currency change the caption again right click in the column properties 
format as currency and we want to call it down payment with the spaces in there we run it scroll over much easier to read 